Ooh, I don't think she likes him very much. You're going to hurt yourself if you don't lighten up your bags. Here we go. She certainly hates to be off her joy, doesn't she? You're not going to give it to her.
This is what you were looking for, wasn't it? I'm afraid I can't let you have it. Why the fuck are you doing this? You evil downer bastard! I am gonna kill you! I am going to kill you! Sorry, I need my words to stick in your head instead of flying right out the other ear. I've got to answer the blower. People depend on my decisions. She's got her own pneumatic. I better answer it. Who the hell is Clive Birthwhistle? You should find out if she likes him or not. You can't trust her, of course. Maybe there's a letter or something somewhere. They're going to need an answer right away. You don't know how critical my answers are. Dear Mr. Birthwhistle, thank you so much for your suggestion. May I suggest you spend a little more time pondering your work and less time pondering where you do it? That sounds like her, all right. This is all some clever joke, isn't it? <laughs> it's terribly funny, Ollie. Let's just call this a prank, and you can untie me now. Please. Well, that's my regular off-site executive committee meeting. Won't they be surprised to find you've tied me up? What unconvincing lie are you going to try to fob them off with? You better answer it. What do I see? Tell them you're the general and the meeting's been postponed. Ollie, she's going to scream if you don't gag her. Get away! Hello, it's Beatrice Dalrymple. <laughs> From the executive committee? I'm so sorry, something's come up. Please come back tomorrow. I, is that General Bing? Yeah, I haven't got time to chit chat. We're trying to save the world. All right. Tomorrow then. Tomorrow, I guess. I hope Miss Bing didn't sneak off while I wasn't looking. Take the key and lock her up. Lock her up, lock her up, take the key and lock her up, my fair lady. I brought some food. I made them sing, Ollie, so they wouldn't be afraid. But then they had to get on the train. Do you remember how they screamed? Aye, I remember. All except my daughter. Your daughter? Aye. Margaret, because she was dead. You've got to eat. Oh, I'm gonna throw it right back up. 
What was it your dad fed you when you were sick and couldn't eat anything else? <laughs> Coffee yoghurt. I'll bring some. Give me my joy! <laughs> Why won't you give me my joy? I'll get you that coffee yoghurt. <laughs> Why won't you give me my joy? Why won't you give me my joy? <laughs> All right, coffee yoghurt. What is yoghurt exactly? It's fermented milk, like cheese, only it doesn't curdle. So I just need some old milk and some coffee. And probably some sugar to make the medicine go down. I would drop some stuff, laddie. Well, that's coffee yogurt a la Starkey. <laughs> I hope she's not particular. Everything is quite all right. Sleepy tight, nighty night. Everything's tucked out of sight, my fair lady. I think you better give her that yogurt. This is awful. You've ruined it. Oh, Father, why have you forsaken me? <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. Oh, that will be the gardeners. Perhaps you can suggest some lovely colour combinations. I think you better answer that. I didn't realise she was quite oh, this popular. So who am I pretending to be? You could always pretend to be the maid. Who is it? It's Brown, the gardener. Could you get Miss Bing? I'm sorry, she's very busy. You should have said that she's out. She's very busy being out. I'll leave it with you then. Would you uh, open up, please? I haven't got time to shave. Well, wrap something around your face. And I'm a fat, ugly Scotsman. Not all maids are thin, pretty and French. You've got all the bloody answers, haven't you? Just a minute! You better make sure she's out of sight. So, should I stick her in a closet somewhere? I'm afraid so. Time was I could carry a pack like this and not think twice about it. <laughs> 